As an artist, it's not always about how detail oriented you are. What really matters is how easily you can add the detail you want to add to your render. There's no point in fussing around for hours trying to get extra details onto your model because you are using the wrong tool. Make sure you have got the right gear for the job. Here are some awesome tools for adding detail in Blender that can make your life a lot easier. This ingenious image to path tracer will trace logos, images, and vector art directly into Blender. You can then turn it to a curve or a mesh and do all sorts of things with it. The add-on can extract outlines by color, alpha map, and more. Lighting is a key part of any render. Perfect lighting and reflections is especially key in 3D product visualization. Professional visualization requires precise lighting and capturing form of the presented object by sculpting light and reflections. This fast light setup add-on lets you select exactly where you want your reflections to be and how faded or sharp they will look. This is the perfect tool for perfect lighting. A lot of things happen as time goes on. Things get dirtier, objects get worn out, they experience water damage, wear and tear. If you want your renders to capture moments like this, to show that they existed before you, you press the render button, that they have been used or lived in, the one-click wear generator is the perfect add-on for that. It adds a layer of wear detail onto any object to show edge and how they have been used with just a few clicks, saving you valuable time and effort while enhancing the authenticity of your scenes. Like objects aging and wearing out, the world around us is reactive. One action causes another action to happen and another and so on. When you shoot the ground, dirt and small particles shoot out. When you shoot projectiles like arrows, they stick to things. When moving objects burn, the fire also reacts to the wind. When projectiles are shot into metallic objects, the metallic deforms. There are a lot of effects like this happening everywhere in the world. If you want to bring these details in your renders, this Blend FX tool is a collection of a number of real-time effects to bring realism to your animations. Flares do not just add photorealism to your render, they also make cool looking effects. This Flare Wizard add-on works in real-time and within your viewport. You can select from a library of elements like glow, irish, shimmer, ring effects, ghosts, and more to make the best looking effects for your render using this flare wizard. Detail does not only mean adding scratches, smudge, dirt and all sorts of textures to your model to make it realistic. Sometimes detail is simply using the right materials. For example, in product presentation, you want to have materials that look smart and elegant to show off the design and look of your products, especially when your client is presenting a new product to the market. The materials should reflect the newness of the product in all of its detail. This can also be great for sci-fi renders and futuristic design. If you want such materials and shaders, Material Works comes with a collection of elegant materials that you can easily use in Blender. Even artists that are not detail-oriented will find this easy work add-on useful. It can create options that actually look deep, detailed, and realistic. And most importantly, if you have boats, ships, or any objects on the ocean surface, this add-on can be used to add waves and wakes or form left behind by objects moving on the surface of the water. Sometimes we don't add enough detail to our models simply because the tools we use are limited and frustrating to use. Finding the right tool can go a long way in helping you become a detail-oriented artist, like this Pivot Master add-on. In 3D, the Pivot Point or the Transform Gizmo is the most used tool. You use it to move objects, vertices, faces, edges, and everything in between. So if you want to improve efficiency, this is where you start. And since efficiency leads to adding more detail, this add-on is perfect for you as a detail-oriented artist. Fog or mist is something that can obscure or conceal a lot of detail in a render, but fog itself is detail. It's easy to tell when a render needed a touch of fog but it's missing. So you need to add fog that looks detailed, can be animated and looks great to compensate for the hidden or obscure detail. All of that can be got with this alt tab is a fog add-on. When it comes to adding detail to your renders, 
or models, it's all going to come down to the type of tools you use. With the range of things Blender does, it's likely going to be more than just a few built-in tools, generators, and add-ons. If you have a large collection of add-ons, your Blender interface will become too cluttered. Thankfully, since you don't use all add-ons at once, the Clean Panels add-on can sort them into categories so that only the ones you are currently using are loaded, saving space, and speeding up Blender load time. Realistic damage can be on the surface level or deeper into the objects. Objects can fall, crack, and damage with time. This one-click damage add-on has been updated to add better and more realistic damage to objects. If you want to go a step further, the RBD Lab add-on provides a robust system for animating the damage process. You are not just adding damage, you are showing how the damage was created from destroying walls, metallic objects, and more. The RBD Lab is a great VFX add-on for destroying, fracturing, and deforming any type of object. It is also great for adding secondary detail like debris, dust, and more. If you are making buildings, try your way and try the procedure building generator's way. Yes, you might learn how to model buildings, doing it on your own, but after you learn, what's your next step? Because you won't learn more from creating more buildings, but you still need more buildings. This procedure building generator can make unique buildings with just a few clicks. And what's even more amazing is that you can also just switch the buildings to a different template if you want at any moment. Did you know that scattering objects around can be as easy and as fun as playing a video game if you are using Physics Placer? You can grab as many objects as you want with its grab tools and place them down gently or throw them around as you want. They will collide, move and settle like objects in the real world, giving you a realistic random distribution and scattering of objects that is impossible to get with geometry nodes or the particle system. The truth is, add-ons are not meant for learners. They are meant for artists who want to achieve greatness and perfect renders without all the heavy work it takes. Take an example of this add-on. For a beginner or a learner, this would be a terrible way to learn Blender because it does 90% of the work for you. All you have to do is direct, customize, and polish the terrain to your liking. This is great for producing quality renders, but for a beginner, you won't know why the add-on is so good and better at it than you. Remember, artists who have been doing this for years sat down for months, maybe even years, to, to design this add-on so that every time you use it, it gets you a perfect terrain. So it's great for artists who want to create renders quickly. If you're working on a scene and it feels empty, try this one trick, add 2D people. This technique is used a lot in ArcViz, especially when rendering still renders. This add-on comes with a collection of hundreds of 2D people doing different things that you can easily drag and drop into your scene. Most times, it does not matter how detail-oriented you are. What matters is how easily you can add the detail you want to add. It does not make sense fidgeting around for hours and hours trying to add extra detail because you are using the wrong tools. Always make sure you have the right tool for the job. And for adding detail on curved surfaces, the Flowify add-on is the best. If you try doing this without something like this, it's going to be a lot of work and it's most likely going to be a destructive process where you can't easily edit the work you have done previously. Using Flowify creates a more semi-procedure workflow where you can easily edit the detail you want and Flowify will just carve or conform it onto the surfaces you want it added to. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this useful. See you 